seen some great posts on Instagram but don't have a clue on how they were made or just struggle with what you're supposed to actually post on Instagram? Well, hey, this is Leah Ray from ToddandLeahRay.com and you're in luck as I'm gonna show you some awesome free tools for quickly making great looking posts on Instagram so you never have to wonder what or how to post again on Instagram, so stick around. Yes, Instagram is a huge social media platform with over 1 billion users and it's a great place to build your brand and your business. But a lot of folks struggle with what to post or how to create great looking posts. So I'm gonna show you two of my very favorite Instagram tools that you can use to easily create great looking posts fast and for free. But before I jump into showing my screen, I wanna let you know that we are all about helping you build your brand, generate leads, and make sales in your online business. So make sure to click the subscribe button and hit the little bell to turn on notifications if you haven't done so yet. Also, if you really want to rock Instagram, you will definitely want to join us for our upcoming training. We'll be teaching you the step-by-step -step of exactly how to market, what to post to make sales, and how to grow a targeted audience fast on Instagram. So as this video ends, just click the link at the top of the description to get registered. Now let's dive in. One of my very favorite programs for creating images, if whether if it's on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, whatever I need images created is Canva. Canva is a great program and they have both a desktop version and a, a phone application, which makes it really easy for taking photos, uploading photos, you know, working on your computer, working on your phone, either one, it's super simple. So I'll start by showing you the desktop version, it's just canva.com, and you do have to create an account, don't worry, it's totally free. And then here, what's really neat is it saves all of the posts that you've ever used, uh, ever created with their program but you've got all kinds of options if you click on the more here for the different types of posts you can create. So Instagram would be the very first one you can click on, but it's everything. Pinterest, uh, if you're looking for cover photos for, for different things, there's all kinds of cool stuff you can do with this. So for an Instagram post, we'll just click over here and it has the right dimensions, which keeps it nice and simple for you. It opens up into a new tab. And what's kind of neat is that they have different templates for you. Now, whenever you're choosing something from Canva, if you want it to remain free, make sure that it says free here. If it has pro or a dollar sign there, that means you do have to pay for those specific things. I've created a lot of really great content through Canva and I've never paid for anything. So don't worry, there's plenty of good stuff that you can do for free. So you can choose one of their done for you templates and create some great content very simply. Let's choose this one here. Dreams don't work unless you do. John C. Maxwell, that's actually really great. So if you wanted to change the text, you could just click on this. You could change the font. You can change the size, the color. You can just put your cursor in here, delete it, change it up a little bit. You can change the image, do some filtering, cropping, some different filter options. So there's some fun stuff that you could do for any of that. Cropping, you could make this bigger, slide it around. So say I like this part of the picture better. I can do that. Lots of fun stuff you can do with this. And once you have this just the way you want it, and one thing that we do suggest for anybody is to add your website, or if you don't have your branded website yet, just simply maybe your username for Instagram to all of the pictures that you do create. You can go over to the text section here. You can add a subheading. See, it's a little bitty thing here. And you go, I'll just use mine so you guys can see what this looks like. Okay, I'm gonna make it white because you can't really see this yet. I'm going to update the font a little bit. You can do whatever you want. I like to make these near the content so people can't easily crop them out but you can have some fun with it. If you have a logo that you use instead, throw it in there, but make sure that these are branded to you. You can see in the text section, they actually have, if you like any of these, go ahead and use them and just update the text to whatever you want it to say. They have elements, which are really handy too. Some free photos that, that you can look through and find something that works for whatever you're doing. Picture frames, if you wanna do something cool with the frame of the photo. 
all kinds of fun stuff. Shapes, neat things you can do with shapes. So say, uh, I'll show you one quick tip that I like to use here for uh, making text stand out a bit better. So in this picture, it's not such an issue that the white really stands out brightly, but let's pretend that it doesn't. What I would do is grab the square, pull it over here, okay, and I'll make it into my whatever shape. Here, I want to change, this is the transparency, and I can make this just partially transparent. I'm definitely going to move it to the back so it's behind the text, but with that, that's a really cool way for helping your text stand out because oftentimes if you're doing like a, a picture and there's sky in the background and it's a combination of blue and white and you're using white text or something like that, it may not stand out as clearly as you want it to. So you could do this sort of thing and make it transparent, put it behind it, and now those words really pop, which is great. They do have different background things you can do. You could have patterns in the background. You can have plain colors in the background and you can also upload your own photos so this is really fun here you can just drag and drop photos from your files on your computer into this section and then you just have them handy and you can quickly grab them and throw them into your photo which is really really handy once you're finished and you have the you have your image exactly how you want it you just click this download button i like things in jpeg because that's what i'm used to working with and i click download And voila, perfect. And so now you've got it right here. If you have the desktop app for Instagram, you could just upload it directly from your download files and you are good to go. It's really handy. If you're using any of the programs that actually post for you, you can also upload those directly from your computer and have them scheduled. And that'll be a whole different video that will go into showing you how to use those auto schedulers. They're really handy. Now let's dive into the Canva app that you actually can find in your app store on your phone. This is it here. This works essentially the same way. The benefit really of on your phone is that you can do things on the fly, on the go, and it's directly connected to your gallery on your phone. So you can easily take a picture and then use that to create an image very quickly. On the home tab here, again, they've got all these different templates that you can use. Again, see here's a little dollar, this one costs a dollar, the, the image on the very right here, and the rest of these are free. So see some of these are dollars and free. So just keep an eye on that. Make sure to choose free stuff if you want to keep it free. I've never had to pay. They've always got plenty of great stuff that's free. So all kinds of cool stuff. But let's go in and actually look at designs. So again, here is you know a bunch of our designs. What you can do now, it's cool. You can actually click on these. You can do a copy of a design. Say you have a, a common theme or template that you like to use in all your images. You can just go in and update that image to create your next version. Just create a copy of it. But I'm going to go through and create a new image. It's going to be an Instagram post, so this is perfect. But you can see here you could scroll through and choose any kind of post that you wanted to make. Hit the checkbox. And here we go. I'm going to add a picture. So right now I'm starting from nothing. I'm going to click on the plus sign. And here in the plus sign, you can choose any of these things, the templates, pages, graphics, image, text. I'm going to go to image. Here's a nice picture we had at the beach. So there's, again, all kinds of things you can do with the image itself, transparency, all kinds of stuff. But here is where you could add text as well. So if I go in, hit the text button, inspirational quotes or motivational quotes or insightful things, they are one of the most powerful things to use on Instagram. They can become viral. People can really respond to them. And you can really find any type of quote that can fit your industry, fit your business and what you're looking to do and make sense for your target audience. So you could just write something if you had something, but I'm going to show you an app that's going to allow you to do this really easily and quickly, which is pretty cool. Now, this is the quotes app that I wanted to show you. You simply click on this. It's also free and you can search by category, author, all kinds of cool stuff. So we can look at category here and let's look at attitude. That's something that can be 
easy to use. This makes sense here. The one thing I want to leave my children is an honorable name. That is awesome because it's actually a picture that we're using with me and my son. And so here's a quote from Theodore Roosevelt. And there's a copy button on the very top next to that Facebook button. I'm going to hit that copy button here. It copied it. And I'm going to go into, back into our picture in Canva. Click on here, delete. I'm going to paste. I paste it and here we go. Let's take a look at what this looks like. One thing I want to leave my children is an honorable name, Theodore Roosevelt. Well, that's a pretty good thing to do. Now I would like to make this pop just a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and add the little trick that I showed you before. Oh. And here I'm going to move this down a layer. I'm going to switch this to white. Little finagling there, but now that text I think really stands out nicely. Again, always add your website or username or logo, whatever you have. added our website and voila a beautiful great looking photo awesome Instagram post ready to go using those two apps once you've familiarized yourself with these two apps you can really quickly create some awesome unique posts that are tagged to you help to build your brand and they're both free win-win this little button in the upper right is how you actually share this photo so that makes it save you see it's saving the photo and now it's going to open up the share option and you can post this rights to Instagram or if you're using any of the posting tools those apps would show up here as well with these two apps under your belt, you've got no excuses now. You know how to go out and create some awesome posts for your Instagram feed. Now, what features did you like the most? What do you think would be most helpful for you in your business? Comment below, let us know. Also, don't forget to click the link in the description to register for our upcoming training for the A to Z on Instagram marketing and growing your targeted audience fast. Again, this is Leah Ray from ToddandLeahRay.com and we'll see you soon.